Let's welcome our man, Mr. Elliot Wellenbach. Uh, Elliot is the Senior Vice President, Institutional ETF Strategist at Direction. We all know Direction because we love those leveraged ETFs. Uh, bull or bear market, folks, there's no doubt about it. Elliot, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, hey, thank you for having me again. Always great to be on. And it's a great day for you to be on, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is yeah, your, your SPXL is going to the moon. And the SPXL, folks, okay, you know, if you trade the S&Ps, that's the 300% levered um, uh, ETF. Uh, and, of course, they get a lot more of them. But uh, it was pretty nice. The CPI came in nice. Uh, there's a lot of action inside that market. So what are you guys seeing on your side? Yeah, yeah, no, definitely an exciting day, uh, you know, with uh, CPI coming in um, and really driving the S&P and the NASDAQ. Uh, we're looking at, you know, if it holds potential, uh, you know, record close for the both of them. But yes. um, yeah, no, definitely the, um, the you know, the, the, the inflation data was a little mixed this week. Uh, we had PPI yesterday um, accelerating a little faster than expected, uh, but then today, CPI uh, print coming in uh, and cooling uh, in April and, and giving a little bit more optimism uh, around some some of the Fed cuts and, you know, where that will happen this year. And um, we've really seen a catalyst, this, uh, you know, especially the uh, CPI uh, print in this morning um, has been a catalyst for the rate, rate sensitive areas, you know, really real estate, home builders, utilities. Yes. Yeah. And, and then, I mean, you know, what happens, folks, okay, I mean, I, mean, I trade this a lot, the TMF, <laughs> because uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch gears here on a second, but the TMF, folks, happens to be the levered 300% um, uh, of the note and bond, well, the 20-year Treasury, just 20-year Treasury plus. Uh, you know, so you get action there. And then uh, next week, I just got a call to, just before you, uh, Elliot, um, about uh, microcomputer, and I know micro trades off of NVIDIA, and we have NVIDIA, you know, coming out with earnings, and, and you guys happen to have, which is really cool, man. It's amazing, and you did this before NVIDIA took off to the moon. They have single ETFs, folks, okay, that you can trade, whether it's on the bull side or the bear side, uh, you know, NVDU and NVDD. Uh, so it's really cool that you came up with that before the run, you right? I mean... Yeah, no, definitely. Those have been uh, actually, yeah, NVDU, which is our 2X daily NVIDIA bull product. Uh, it's had our fourth largest inflows uh, this year for our entire ETF suite. And it has uh, it. definitely wow. a big pickup in uh, trading with, uh, you know, they're set to report earnings on the 22nd. So we're about a week out, but yes. uh, expectations are pretty high. Uh, so, you know, uh, we've seen a handful of uh, price target increases I think the average is around twelve hundred dollars for Nvidia at the moment. Um, so it's definitely it's been a pretty uh, you know interesting space, and we've seen a lot of volume in in uh, that pair of single stock ETFs uh, for us. Nice. And when we put this together, you know what's so cool here, folks? Picture what happened. We we went from the CPI to the S and P's to the bonds, and where we're going to go next? We know we're going to go into real estate, right? <laughs> because real estate, that's what drives it, right? And inside real estate, you know, we have the nail, N-A-I-L. Now, I'm giving you the two bullish ones. I'm going to be a little prejudiced here right now, but, you know, you can go either way. And I'm giving you the DRN. Now, can you just explain to the audience the difference? I know what the difference is, but so the audience can understand the difference of inside those two separate ETFs, Elliot. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Both are 3x uh, bull ETFs. DRN is off of the real estate select sector. So that's your, okay. your kind of pure plan real estate. And then NAIL is kind of a play off of that. That's our uh, that's tracking the U.S. select home construction index, which is primarily the home builders and yes. building products. So different indices, but both, like you mentioned, very sensitive to uh, you know the rate environment, and we've seen uh, a big rally uh, today. And uh, from a trading perspective, Nell is uh, uh, trading today 91% higher, not from a percentage standpoint, but from the average uh, daily trading volume compared to its 30-day average trading volume. So a lot of you know trading pick up in Nell today after that CPI number. Which is really great. And what happens, folks, is that inside the, 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 inside the DRN, just so you can understand, so the, the nail, as Elliot says, pure builders, right? Inside the DRN, if you think 
that, you know, that commercial real estate, you know, is getting close or maybe six months from now. Keep that in mind because the mix is different. The mix is that, you know, you got Simon property inside there. You get the Regency centers in both of those. You, you're familiar with the Regency because that's, you know, all those movie theaters you see inside them. Simon is the biggest class A builder in, in the whole country, folks, okay? So it's worth it to do a little research there because at some point those are going to come off the bottom too. I mean, you know, we know it's a, the commercial is versus, you know, the real estate business in general is a little tough right now. Um, and then we got to go to gold, man. I got a lot of gold, <laughs> gold people. You know, uh, we, got the, the, we got the nugget and you got the dust. And, it, of course, the nugget, folks, okay, is, is the bull. The dust is the bear. Um, and what's, what's intriguing about the, the, the nugget is that, you know, my understanding, uh, Elliot, is that what has happened, gold has gone up dramatically, but on inside of the ETF structures, they're not getting, you know, like even, they're not getting the, the GLD, they're not getting the action that they used to get. So it's really intriguing watching the nugget. I mean, it's, it runs, you know, it's liquid beyond belief, okay? But what do you, it's so intriguing that gold's going so dramatically, I guess people are buying so much physical gold versus the ETFs now, right? Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, uh, we have those gold miner pairs. Um, and yeah, no, they're they're definitely going to be trading and gold is going to influence uh, those names. But at the end of the day, it's a basket of equities. So, you know, there's not going to be that one for one relationship. Gold is definitely going to be impacting that basket and the gold miners and the junior gold miners uh, for both our uh, JNUG is our uh, junior gold miners, 2X Bull, JDST is the 2X Bear. Um, but yeah, we actually... You know, we've seen a little bit of a lagging with the gold miners relative to the price action in gold. That kind of made up a little bit of ground earlier this year. Yes. But definitely, uh, it's, it's been, uh, you know, a, a pretty pretty uh, actively traded pair. Uh, oh, know. yeah. No, I mean, you know, if you look at Nugget today, folks, I mean, it has it all. I mean, Nugget right now, you know, remember something, the, the, the high is, well, the high 43.58, and we hit 43.81 today. So this is going to be pretty intriguing watching this whole thing shake out. There's no doubt. And, you know, as the rates, I mean, if, if we continue with the rates pulling back a little, it looks to me that uh, we're going to have quite a market here. You know, you may have heard uh, me or not, but this dollar today, you know, coming backing down is really a beautiful catalyst <laughs> for the market in general. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like it's been holding in that higher range, and then it broke the higher range today. So we just may have a, a nice summer ahead of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. No, definitely, definitely. I, I, uh, it's it's a it's a great market day. Let's hope it uh, holds up throughout the week. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 a great <laughs> that's a great quote. And I just want to I want to swing over to oil for a second, all right? Because I know the traders love gush and they love drip. Uh, and you know what happens, folks? Okay, drip. You know, bottom line is the bear. Gush is the is the bull. Uh, and oil's been moving around a lot. You know, we, uh, it, it's been back and down, but the bottom line is that we're coming into the summer. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Yeah, well, listen, Elliot, this was always a pleasure. Can't wait to have you on again. You have a, a great one and a safe one. Yeah, thank you. You too. Always okay. great being on the video. Okay, man. Have a great one. Take care. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.